Is it the highest handling facility in Ireland? It is. near the top of home. It must be, must be the coldest day in Ireland to long pants, wellingtons, hat and jumper on them. And 27 degrees. What have you done, boys? To hell with you, Joe. Why would not send so simple? So welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to do the organic yo's. So they're coming in for a, a mineral drench. They're going to be getting cobalt, the yo's and lambs. And we'll just be checking, checking their condition to see if they're all thriving. And they'll just be getting a, a foot bath also. And they'll be let back out the mountain again. They, some, a lot of these lambs would have been born up on this mountain here. And they're, they're fairly resilient, hardy. They're Kerry Scotch kind of black face. So they're well used to harsh conditions. And they're super mullers. And they spend the whole summer above here in this mountain and they won't leave it. Um, it's, low, it's low stock, so they have plenty of grass ahead of them. The handling facilities up here um, is up, up the very top of the mountain. And it's probably one of the highest handling facilities probably in Ireland because it's, it's, it's so high and uh, like, there's always nearly snow there. So I'll show you now in a second how high it is. And there's actually a great view out of there today because of the blue skies. So I have a good team helping me today with Lassie, Charlie, Sally and Jack. And my father is coming up behind me in the quad because we have to go get him. And so yeah, so these live out the mountain for the whole summer. And we must go up to this next hill now, so it's up at the very top there, so it's fairly, fairly high. Nearly there. So we, here we are now, to some height above sea level now. Big bridge here. There's a lot, a lot of windmills around here now. They're some of the biggest windmills in Ireland, They're fairly big. As you can see, um, we're just rounding up the, the sheep now with their lambs, and there are some hoggets there as well, replacements. So we're just rounding them up here now, and we're down the bottom of that hill, and the handling facility is up the top. So we have a good journey to walk up there now with these as well. So we're just trying to locate them all. There's houses down there. People were living at the time of the famine, some journey away from society <laughs> to be living down there, some journey away from um, from anywhere really, up top of the mountains here living. Away silly, away! We have them all we think anyway, we'll know anyway after after we come to him above in the, above in the handling unit. Sally, good girl. Charlotte, the heat can be quite tough on the dogs as well, so we're giving the dogs plenty breaks. And same with the sheep and lambs. Because it is, there's some severe heat there. It's 27 degrees today, so that's a lot for Ireland. We're not used to the heat. We're only used to, we're only used to about 18 degrees. All right, silly, around the windmill. Away! 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 Good girl. Away! It's up a fair height now. Away! Steady! Walk on, walk on. Away! Line out, down low. Off up now for dosing. And a footpad. So, this is the hard, one of the hardest hills now of our place together. It's um, it's the biggest, it's the biggest hill we have. It's the furthest walk for, for gathering them and, and doing them. So they're coming now for their mineral dose, cobalt, the yaws and lambs, 
and they're going to get copper sulfate bat and they won't be getting no worm dust because they're absolutely spotless so these lambs live here all summer and their the egg count up here would be very low and they don't ever get a worm dust and they're absolutely perfect from it so they'll be fine out so we nearly have them here now at the tops as you can see some struggle to get them all there now hopefully they'll all go in now so they all look fairly healthy there's um there's none lame I'd say which is a great start Charlie Wait. No, they ain't going. Every single one of them go around the gate. Lovely. Christ. So we're going to try this side now, see will they go in here. Charlie, go on outside. Go on outside. Go on outside. Go on outside. Go, outside. go dog. Well, some of them are after going. Half the lambs are going above the top of the side of the fence. Have them. All ready to go here now. Ready, Joanne. Sensors. Clipping any, anything that has any bit of dirt or anything. Um, but they all look pretty clean. Come on, Charlie. Shh. Try, man. Come on, Charlie. Shh. Come on. Punch him into the pin over here in the corner so we can catch lambs and, and the oars. Two more, come on. Shh. 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 Come on. Hop. Stop, Charlie. Hi. Shh. Shh. Stop. Come on. Shh. Hop. Come on, Go back, so bring on more. Just going through a uh, copper sulfate bat, no, blue stone. So we'll put them through a few times. There's no lame in there, but we'll just keep it on top of it. Welcome back to another video. This is the highest handling system in Ireland. Or across the hill from us, Chapa Cooley. Look at the windmills all round there on that side. We don't play here. We can see Magneton over across. We can see all over the country. But this is up on top of the mountain from the far away sheep. We made a temporary thing here to do us and things like that. Come on, lads. Lamb's done there now. Yours in now for a cobalt to us. Stop. Come on, stop it, lads. This is Christ. Pellets, grand, aren't they? Does the job, nice and cheap. Sheets of iron all around with steaks. Didn't cost the whole pile to make this. Is it the highest handling facility in Ireland? It is. It's near the top of home. It must be, must be the coldest day in Ireland to long pants, wellingtons, hat and jumper on them. And 27 degrees. So they're finished. Back down to where they came from now. So the reason we build this handling facility here is because it's so far away, this mountain. And um, it's just a lot easier. We spend a day, if not more than a day, uh, do all the same stuff and check him over, but uh, whereas now it only takes a couple of hours, so it's a mighty job to leave him up here and they actually never leave the place. So they have plenty of a pick here, and uh, it's not overly stocked this place, so they have plenty of uh, area to pick from. And they won't be get brought back up now to the top until we're shearing, which will be probably mid July, 
Um, these will be the last to get shore because we're fairly high up here and we usually don't get maggots here. So that's a good benefit at least because it's always quite windy up here and stuff. Looks great here on a good day in fairness, but 90% of the time when we come up here, it's either, it's either snowing, raining, or there's a wind here that would knock you. You can see why there's uh, windmills up here because it's so windy up here, but um, like it's even very windy here again today, but it's a fine day. What a view on today. So we better get back to it. Thanks very much for watching. We're just driving these back down now. Give me a subscribe and like if you liked the video. And see you for the next one. Cheers. What have you done, boys? The hell with you, Joe. Why wouldn't that sound so simple? Come on.